Blessed day, blessed day, blessed day, members, beloved, blessed day, blessed day. Welcome, 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 welcome. Join us, join us online, join us online, join us online. We need you online, we need you online. Be blessed, I bless your day. I bless everything that you're doing today. May your day be blessed, may everything be blessed. Is your humble servant, spiritualist, master? Is your humble servant, So you are welcome. To join us online, you are welcome to share with us your idea. Please comment, share, and let us know how best we can serve you. Sorry for the noise in the background. Our technical te setup was having a small problem. So, beloved, today we are talking about why humans are displaying so such a lower level. A lower level an high level of spiritual enlightenment and ignorance. When I say lower level of spiritual enlightenment, and when I say lower level for spiritual, for their own spirituality. So, I'm gonna be welcoming your comment, I'm gonna be welcoming your suggestion, your critique, your apple, everything. Please share the video, share the news. We are talking about spiritual revolution today, but under spiritual revolution, we are, we are asking a question. Why humans are displaying a, does display a high level of ignorance about their own spirituality? So I've sent a question out in different social media platforms, Facebook and WhatsApp, Instagram and them. I have received quite a lot of answers. Many people are pointing out at religion, colonization, adoption of new culture. So there are various, various things that have been pointed by people, but which I'm going to want us to go into details, step by step, without any need. So our first point, you're going to allow me to check on my notes. The first point that was pointed is was religion. The people they are saying religion is the main cause of our spiritual ignorance. Yes, when we look at the religion, we look at the, the majority of people around us are religious people. And they, they are looking for a spirituality. So what is this religion? Religion is defined as the belief in and worship of a supernatural human controlling power. Based on that, you men are feeling that religion has become the cause. And I'm going to give you a certain point. Yes, it's true. I agree with those, uh, that kind of line of thinking. Religion has been the cause. We're going to take, we got religion like Christianity. We got like Islam. We got like Judaism. We got Hinduism. We got Buddha. And Buddhism. Religion evaluated people to be independent of a supernatural human who's so-called God or the gods and people have become lazy. People cannot do, cannot decide. Religion has been brainwashed people. They have been programmed people and they sell people illusions. Illusions that people put in their beliefs, but the people are selling illusions to them. They do not apply the, the same belief. So those who are thinking and still saying religion is the cause or one of the causes of spiritual alienation. Why today humans are ignoring their own identity? Yes, I'm going to give a second example. Religion has stripped people of their own identity. You're going to ask me how. Very simple. When you go get baptized, you are given a name that does not relate to your culture, to your tradition. You don't even know who was the bearer of that culture, what kind of connotation that particular name has to the spiritual realms and how you own for a father or ancestor gonna take it up. So those kind of reality, when you are stripped and you're using a foreigner name and you're calling, for example, us as Africans, we believe in our ancestors. And then when I need to call my ancestors and I'm using a Western name, for example, and then it happened that one of those carer of that name was the colonizer who abused my ancestors. How gonna be their response to me? You find people who are afraid to identify themselves spiritually because they are sold and 
the legion of hell and heaven with no one ever witnessed, and they never witnessed. They sell them to they sell it to them, they buy it, they impose it to them, they buy it. I'm gonna come to that point. Now I see using the diplomatic way to say they sell it to them, and then you start denying yourself. You don't even know who you are anymore. What is happening in your life? What truly is taking place? What kind of person are you because you are far away from your culture, you are far away from your traditions? And then we go to the second point people blame colonization. They say colonization and Western imported cultures. That is true. Our colonization is defined. Colonization is the action or process of setting among or establishing control over the indigenous people of an area. So the second point that many people have responded into the social media was colonization is one of the causes that we do not have our spiritual knowledge today. And that is true because colonization has come with an imposition. It has imposed our forefathers. How they need to think, how they need to behave, how they need to be called, how they need to dress, how they need to pray. So everything colonization came to do was first to strip out the indigenous people of their own spiritual identity. You and I today are confused in this society. As parents, as adults, many people are finding themselves not knowing which direction to go. And as they cause people becoming victims, victim of uh, escrocris, victim of being crooked, abused, even killed, misled because people are failing to identify their own spirituality. Religion come and tell you that your culture, your tradition, they're wrong. You need to take something else. Colonization come and tell you that these things are evil and you will not be good to be accepted in society. If you want to be accepted in society, if you want to be listened to your colonizer, you need to practice religions. But because they knew that humanity is attached to spirituality, they tried to adjust it in that way. Now we are not saying people, they must walk away from their religions. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. What now I want to bring to light is religious leaders, they need to sit down and adapt their religion to the current situation because people are no longer blind. No, 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 no. People are no longer blind. We are asking questions and these questions are pertinent. We are making analysis. Like the answer I'm giving now, is the analysis that the majority of people are sharing now. They say religion. They say colonization. And then we go to ignorance. The ignorance of our own origins. Because everything has been changed. We are no longer identified based on our culture and traditions. We are identified based on citizenship. We are based on the land that colonizers have cut for the country that, the respective country that we are living in. Regardless of where we are in the world, but we are facing the same reality. We are facing the same thing. We are controlled by the few because our spiritual identity are lost. That is true. You are having what you are having today as challenges because your spiritual identity are lost. Some you want to blame their ancestors. You want to blame your gods. You want to blame whatever power you believe in. But I'm telling you today, you know, you are the responsible because you are ignorant. Yes, it's true. You are ignorant. We say we 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 are never taught how do we follow something you don't know. That is very true. You are ignorant because you are never taught. But who never told you? He was never taught as well. The one who is supposed to tell him was oppressed, and it was prohibited to share such knowledge. I'm going to give an example of for us Africans, for example. With our Africans, in our traditional culture, messages are passed to mouth to ears. But then, when the master tell my forefather to say, you don't communicate this kind of topic. If we see your child behaving this way, we're going to know that you communicate and this is going to happen to him. In fear of protecting, then they prevent it. Tradition to continue. So ignorance are playing a big role and then people become abused. People become exploited. People are going the wrong directions because people don't know what is spirituality. Some of you think spirituality is an emergency service. 
Some of you think when we say you become spiritual today, money can, need to come under your bed. Some of you think when you become spiritual today, you, are, you need to start performing extraordinary miracles. Spirituality is the lifestyle. It's the state of mind. It's the kind of lifestyle that you need to live. And you must live it in full. You must live it, live it following the requirement of spirituality. We're going to have time to talk about that. But today I want to wake up my mind. I want to awaken up, to enlighten up your spirit. And to tell you that it's time to wake up. The spiritual revolution has started. You need to join the movement. You need to join the pro. You need to join the consciousness. We are no longer going to be exploited because just we are ignorant. We have a platform where we can share our knowledge, where we can debate, where we can engage, and we can, explain, and we can share experiences. I'm not claiming understanding it all, knowing it all. You are welcome to come with yours. You are welcome to send your video. I'm going to put it on. You are welcome to put your comment and like and share. Bring in more people who want to understand the light of the spirit, who want to acquire their spiritual freedom, not spiritual slavery, not a spiritual confusion. I'm not going to point out, but you are aware as you are following me, that there are books that you have read, there are messages that you have re listened to, there are prophecies that you have received that have confused your mind. Just because you are ignorant, just because you don't understand, just because you don't know. That's what I'm calling you today. Join the revolution. Join the light. Wake up. All the spiritual leaders, all the spiritual leaders, they were never religious. I can assure you that I can prove it to you. I can prove it to you. All the spiritual leaders, they were spiritual beings who believe in themselves. And then you need now to start understanding and awakening up your spirit. That is the self-identification. During this moment of confinement, just during this moment of the world isolation, it's time for you to ground yourself and wake up. Maybe you are receiving visions. Maybe you are, you are receiving your callings. Maybe you are, you are seeing signs of awakening. Maybe you start asking your, yourself pertinent questions, which you couldn't, you couldn't dare ask yourself before. So what we are going to do about that? What are you intending to do about that? What are you planning to do about that? Wake up. This is your life we are talking about. We are not thinking about somebody's life. We are not thinking about somebody else changing their situation. Maybe as you are watching to let me now, you are broke, you are jobless. You don't know what exactly you can do. You don't know which step to take. So follow the knowledge. Join the light. What are you afraid of? You are afraid of a hell that you never witness? You are preparing for heaven that you never witness? There's the day we're going to talk about that. But I'm telling you, I know this message. Every enlightened man and woman who going to listen to this message will pick it up, will join the movement. The world has interpelled your conscience. The creator put wisdom and intellect in you to remove your ignorance and bring in light. Join the light. So we are going to the adoption of other culture. That is a true and factual thing. As human and society, we immigrate, we integrate, we cohabit. But will that say you need to ignore your own tradition and culture when it comes to your spirituality? Because when your spirit reincarnated in this time and period, it comes with that particular family, that particular clan, that bigger community, that particular, particular culture and traditions, because you got a purpose. So are you going to ignore that purpose? Are you going to adopt something else? Do you want to become a spiritualist like me? Well, yours is another calling. Or do you want to join another calling? Well, yours is something else. Find your personal identity. Avoid to adopt and adjust things that you do not understand just because they look so appealing to you. Make your own appealing to others. Value your culture, value your tradition, value your own ancestors. Your own ancestors, they can make you bigger. Your own ancestors, they can transform your life. Your own ancestors, they can change your, the course of your life. But with your contribution, don't sit. Oh, don't just kneel down and lift your hand and pray and wait like a lazy person. Spirituality doesn't belong to the laziest one. Spirituality belongs to the heaviest one. Spirituality belongs to the strong one. Spirituality belongs to the asla, not the weak. So wake up. I'm calling upon your mind to wake up today. 
Wake up, my beloved brother. Wake up, my beloved sister. Take control of your life. Identify yourself who you are. Are you a cow? Are you a tiger? Are you a lion? Are you an elephant? Who are you? Are you a leopard? Who are you? Are you a goat? Are you a sheep? Identify yourself spiritually today. That is very important. I want to remove the power of ignorance in you and instill in the divine power. This divine power of wisdom, this divine power of intellect dwelling to you so that you're going to wake up and the light going to shine upon you. We are going to the confusion between religion and spirituality. That is the very true thing. These two things are different. Religion is a man made thing, it was created by men. Made by men, conceived by men with the purpose of controlling society. Spirituality is in a, a secret mission which you and your creator only knows about. It was been given to you, only you, with a specific task to come and achieve in this current life. Nobody will ever tell you with precision what step you need to take in order to enlighten yourself. Even me, I can only point the road to point the direction to you that follow this direction. But I will never with certitude give you the specific details because that is the secret between your creator and you. Whatever reason bring him to keep you in this reincarnation and send you only him knows. So, do not allow somebody else to instill in you something that is not compatible to your task, to your belief, to your mission. Not even me. You only accept from me what is compatible with your purpose and mission as a spiritual reincarnated being and an undercover agent of the creator under this current life. So that is spirituality, is your freedom of choice, your freedom of movement, not the freedom to say, you don't do this, this is going to happen. Yes, there is consequence for every action, but not to tell you in the term of uh, intimidation. You don't believe in this, you go this way. No, 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 no. You don't believe. You don't accept. There's a man who sent you. There's a woman who sent you. Is that to call the creator? We cannot put gender upon him. Or strategize him in humanity. Or anything. He's just the creator. The higher spirit. So wake up, my sister. Wake up, my brother. Take responsibility. Stop believing in a curse that you don't witness. And when they occur, seek enlightened people, enlightened spiritualists. Like some of us, we're going to guide you on the step to take. We're going to assist you. We're going to work with you step by step until you are free yourself from the bondage of the spirituality. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So wake up. The confusion must stop. When you are going to a temple, you are going to a synagogue, you are going to a church, that is religion. You are applying what is your religious practice and belief and dogmas. Spirituality is another world. Spirituality is not controlled by human, not by religious leaders. Not even me, I'm not controlling spirituality. I'm a daughter in the spiritual realms. As you, we might differ in our level, we might differ in our knowledge. That too. But that does not make you lesser than the other. So we remove the ignorance, we remove the confusion. And we go to our last one, is traditional media. Traditional media, TV, and internet. Yes, many people have said traditional media have not also helped because they are propagating one set of the things and they are presenting spirituality as something that is undesirable, is not is incompatible with humanity. And that is completely wrong. Spirituality is not incompatible with humanity. Spirituality does not require you to be poor. Spirituality does not require you to be dressing all in a certain way. Spirituality does not subject you to modernity. 
Is your lifestyle your state of mind? Is who you are, you don't change who you are, regardless of the, how many years you're increasing. You can adjust the behavior, you can adjust in the way you're talking, you can learn a lot in life, but you're still you. Still your fingerprint. They don't mature with age. So, traditional media need also to be re-educated. Because they present their spirituality like something evil. Many people, when you tell them that you're spiritualist or you're doing rituals, they got the, uh, the intention that you are busy cutting people's head, you are busy only slaughtering animals, you are busy doing this stuff. And they make something like prayer to look something conducive. Where it's reducing humanity into the level of begging. We are small gods. Because we come from the bigger God. We are the reflection of the creator. That's why we can procreate. So why are the procreator, we are busy begging for the creator to come and assist us in every single thing. But when we are making love, we do not ask him to come. When we are eating, we do not ask him to come and feed us. We can eat ourselves. When we are doing our own other things, we do them ourselves. But when we do we want to do certain things, we want him to come and assist. That is religion that religion, religion teaches us. And it needs to stop now. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Beloved, you are welcome to share our video. You are welcome to like. Your comment will be very appreciated. Tell us what you think. Give us more idea. Tell us what we forget. Bring your critics, your questions. We're going to be happy to answer them. Is your humble servant, Mulopwe Katapena, spiritualist master. Be blessed and have a blessed day. Meet you in our next.